this is Jonathan here, 3dfocus.net, more coverage from IBC here in Amsterdam. I'm in the future zone, and here NHK are demoing their super high vision system. Just had a look at it for the very first time. Very, very, very good. Amazing. Now, of course, recently they've announced that they are going to be showing some of the Olympics and the London Olympics 2012 in super high vision in, in, uh, with the BBC on outdoor public dis display screens. And right here at IBC, they're showing a compact super high vision compact camera system that has got four 8 million pixel CMOS sensors. It's actually a very compact model. There's only two of these in the world. Over here, we've got a 4K res monitor, so it's not full super high vision, but as you can see right now, it's still incredible. You can just see the individual characters in the, in the stadium, very, very crystal clear. We've just seen a demo on a large screen using an 8K projector, JVC 8K projector, of the final shuttle launch, and that combined with 22.2 multi-channel surround sound is really, really breathtaking, I have to say. And also, just down there, you can see an, an 85-inch LCD 8K monitor, and it almost gives a sort of a 3D illusion because it's so clear. Very, very interesting. Now, we're going to speak to a representative from NHK who's going to give me a lot more information. Hi, this is Jonathan here at 3dfocus.net, and I'm here with Kichi Kiruta, who is the head of laboratories at NHK, very highly involved in the development of super high vision. After, of course, the recent announcements that part of the London 2012 Olympics will be broadcasting on super high vision. Thank you, Kichi. Tell me, what are we looking at today here at IBC in terms of your live transmission from London to Amsterdam. Okay, this time we brought a uh, camera, super high vision camera, and a video switcher, and also we brought slow motion equipment. And using this equipment, right now we are transmitting live video from London to Amsterdam. How the, the, the compression or the, the sheer volume of data must be massive. How do you compress that across the global IP network. Okay, uh, the uncompressed data rate is about 24 gigabits per second and we compress that data down to 200, 260 megabits per second and uh, we transmit 260 megabits second per second data over IP network. Okay, and can you share information in terms of how many cameras you expect to be at the Olympics or is that still very much in the early stages <laughs> right now? Well, uh, we plan to bring three cameras to Olympic Games. And just this camera here you have on show, uh, this is a, a compact camera, mm -hmm. right? Is this what you expect to be used going forward for more future super high vision broadcast and demos? Well, uh, we are planning to use this camera for Olympic coverage. Uh, this is the third generation camera. The first generation camera was about 80 kilograms. The second generation was 40 kilograms. And third generation, this camera is 20 kilograms, so it's very easy to handle in the field. The 85-inch LCD screen out there. Tell me about that. Well, 85-inch uh, LCD. That is most important progress the last one year because uh, so far we only had the projector. We can demonstrate super high vision image in the theater, but as a broadcaster, we are planning to deliver super high vision image to home. For that purpose. LCD or plasma direct view display is indispensable. That's why we developed that and we brought 85 inch LCD here. 8K as well, is that right? 8K? The LCD? 8K? 8K. It's incredible. Finally, um, do you have any kind of timeline that you expect in terms of you know broadcast to the home? I know NHK are very active here and Japan is very advanced in the technologies. In terms of a gradual take-up of this technology, have you got a plan? Okay, our, plan, our target is to start experimental broadcasting of super high vision uh, using satellite in 2020, that is nine years from now. Well, I have to say, first time I've ever seen super high vision, and after watching that, you think, well, what's the point in going watching HD anymore? It's just incredible, absolutely amazing. So thank you all so much, and uh, yeah, more information on the website as soon as I get it.